And now we're going to talk about um, Notebook LM itself and then do a demo. The first thing I want to do is tell you, once again, hopefully you're on two devices so that you can see my screen and also do the work. So if you're doing that, go to notebook.google, not .com, .google. So go to notebook.google. And then this is what you'll see. So the first part of that screen that you'll see, it will say Think Smarter. And, and because this is technology, I'm going to use a disclaimer that I always use in my trainings. What you see on your screen may be completely different than what I see because these technology companies are always rolling out new things. So I might see something different. But this is what was on my screen as of yesterday. So you will see a screen that says Think Smarter, Not Harder. The ultimate tool for understanding the information that matters most to you built with Gemini 1.5. So what is Gemini 1.5? Gemini is the replacement for BARD, which was Google's AI tool just a few months ago. Gemini rolled out. And so now it's a more powerful AI tool that I have been using along with ChatGPT. Until this came along, I've really, really been using this for a lot of things. When you scroll down on that page, the next thing that you're going to see is it says your personalized AI research assistant. And it's telling you what you can do is you can upload your sources. You can upload PDFs, websites, YouTube videos, audio files, Google Docs, or Google Slides. And Notebook LM will summarize them and make interesting connections between topics, all powered by Gemini 1.5's multimodal understanding capabilities. Instant insight. So it says with all of your sources in place, Notebook LM gets to work and becomes a personalized AI expert in the information that matters most to you. So to get to this section, I just scroll down on that screen. The next section on that screen says the source, not just the answer. It says gain confidence in every response because Notebook LM provides clear citations for its work. So it's going to let you know where it's pulling that information information from. So I know that's a, been a problem with some of the different AI platforms is that they're not citing where they're getting this information from. And what a lot of people do is they use AI exactly as it's given to them without citing where the information came from. And by the way, if you're using a tool and they don't cite, one thing I do is I write a prompt and I ask it, where did you get this from? Is this original? Don't be afraid to ask AI that question because it will come back and tell you. It usually says, oh, I'm sorry. I should have told you. It came from blah, blah, blah place, right? So that you're not getting in trouble. You're not going to have any copyright infringements and that type of thing. And when you scroll down on the page, the next thing that you see is it says, listen and learn on the go. Our new audio overview feature can turn your sources into engaging deep dive discussions with one click. And we're about to see that. When you upload your content, what Notebook LM is going to do, which is different from some of the other AI platforms, is that they value your privacy. And they do not use your personal data to train Notebook LM. So it's not training AI off of your content. So you can feel confident in uploading your PDFs, your videos, your your information. Just don't do anything personal, I would say, because it is technology. <laughs> so things change. We don't know. But just make sure it's things about your business, things that you're already making public to people, um, and even some things that you have not made public. But what they're, they're promising is that there is privacy that comes along with it. It says Notebook LM does not use your personal data, including your source uploads, queries, and the response responses from the model for training. 
And then it says how people are using Notebook LM. And again, I just scroll down on that screen. If you're, go you're um, going along with me, just scroll down to this next section. And it says people are using it for power study. It says they're uploading lecture recordings, textbook chapters, and research papers. Um, you can ask Notebook LM to explain complex concepts in simple terms, and it will provide real-world examples and reinforce your understanding. It's saying that you can learn faster and deeper, right? Also, people are using it to organize your thinking. So how many of you have all these ideas in your head, right? You can put them into Notebook LM and get back whatever help it is that you're, you need. So in organizing your thinking, what you can do is upload your source material. It could be brochures, ebooks books, pamphlets about your business. You can upload this source material and let Notebook LM create a polished presentation outline complete with key talking points and supporting evidence. It says that you can present with confidence once you've done this. The next thing it's saying that people are using Notebook LM for is to spark new ideas. You can upload brainstorming notes, market research, and competitor research. You can ask Notebook LM to identify trends, generate new product ideas, and uncover hidden opportunities. It's saying you can unlock your creative potential. 